There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, a boron, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bismuth, chromium, lithium, beryllium, and barium. Welcome to one of the past HSC exam question videos. In this video, we're going to cover a past HSC exam question on the ethanol and biofuel chapter. And what I'll do is I'll actually read the question itself in a second. And once I've read the question, I'll give you guys five seconds to try to pause the video. When you pause the video, try to do, attempt the question. And once you've attempted the question, play the video, and I'll go over the actual answer for both of the A and B of this question. So I'll read the actual question first. It has two parts, A and B. A is what causes incomplete combustion, and that's worth one mark. And B is write a balanced equation for the incomplete combustion with methane. That's also worth one mark. So pause the video now. I'll be quiet for five seconds so you can pause the video and try to attempt that question and then press play when you're ready. And I'll pause now. All right, so I'm back. I'll start with the first one. What causes incomplete combustion? So with, with this question, remember incomplete combustion was when we usually have CO2 not being fully formed, but we have something called carbon monoxide or carbon soot. Being, so these two, carbon monoxide or carbon soot being formed because um, we don't have enough oxygen. So to write that into a sentence, you can, it's only worth one mark, so you don't have to give a long response, a brief response is good enough. Not enough oxygen molecules to react with fuel to produce CO2. C carbon monoxide or carbon soot is produced instead. So not enough oxygen molecules to react with fuel to produce CO2. So that is the biggest problem. We don't have enough of these O2 molecules. And because we don't have enough, enough of these O2 molecules, we produce um, carbon monoxide and carbon soot instead of carbon dioxide. And obviously the problem with these, again, this, this is not part of the actual answer, just some revision. These are toxic and can cause problems. And the reason why there's not that much oxygen is because, as usually mean, incomplete combustion often occurs when it comes to octane, because octane needs to have lots of oxygen. And when you think about the engine, like if you have an engine, and this is meant to be a engine, um, there isn't that much oxygen in there. There's a bit of oxygen in there but not much. And when it comes to octane, that's a long chain. It's a eight carbon chain that needs to have lots of oxygen to react with. And the problem is, yeah, mo most of those engines, it's just not enough oxygen. When it comes to octane um, and the combustion, it often is incomplete combustion, which means we produce some of that CO carbon monoxide, which is quite toxic. Now the second part was write a balanced equation for the incomplete combustion of methane. So this here is the uh, equation. It's not yet balanced. Um, when it comes to obviously here, just you're given methane, but how we can figure out what methane actually is is if you know what an alkane is. An alkane has this formula. It is um, C N H two plus two. So. Um, if, for example, we have methane, the MF stands for one carbon, so we know N in this case is one. Then we have to do um, one times two plus two, which is four. So we have four. That means CH4 is methane, which is the same as this one here. But we have to still write the actual balance equation, and this is not balanced. We've got CH4 plus O2, when oxygen reacts with methane, and we produce monoxide, carbon monoxide, and water. But when we're trying to balance it, we want to make sure a couple of things we do, we do it first. Um, usually, if this, this is standalone, oxygen stands alone, so, so touch this last. Don't, don't try to balance this until the end. Touch this last, or balance this at the end. And what you can do then is you can try to see what we are missing. So we've got one carbon here, one carbon there on both sides. We have four hydrogen here. We have two hydrogen on the other side. And we've got two oxygens on this side, two oxygen on the other side. So if we wanted to try to balance the hydrogens, if we put a two in front of here, 
now we have the, the hydrogen balance. We've got four on this side and we've got four on this side. But the problem is now we have an imbalance of oxygens. We have two times one plus one, so three on this side and only two on this side. Um, so if we wanted to have a bit more of a balance, what we actually have to do is put a two in front of the carbon monoxide as well to make it even again. So now we have an even amount of oxygens. But the problem is, when we've done this, we've got two carbon dioxide on this side, two carbon on this side, and only one carbon on this side. So we also have to put a C on this side to balance that again. But now what happened is we've gone, because of that two on this side, we have eight hydrogens on the left side and only four on the other side. So this would actually not work. So two wouldn't work. And to have that balance, we would have to have eight on the left and eight on the right. So we've got two times four would be equal to eight. So we've got eight hydrogens on this side, eight hydrogens on the other side. We've got two carbons on this side, two carbons on that side, on both sides. Oxygen-wise, we have four oxygens plus two oxygens from the carbon monoxide, so six oxygens on this side. And we have... There's just two, so two at the moment, but we can put anything in front of it. So if you put it three in front of it, it's actually, we also have six oxygen on the other side. So now it's completely balanced. We've got two carbon on the left hand side. We've got two carbon on the right hand side. We have eight hydrogens on the left hand side. We have eight hydrogens on the right hand side. We have six oxygens on the left hand side. And we have six oxygens, two from this here and four from this here on the right-hand side. It's completely balanced. Um, and as I said, we should touch the standalone oxygen molecule at last, because it's an easy to balance if we touch that at last. If we do that first, it's gonna be a lot tougher. So yeah, hopefully that was useful, but make sure to, because they're both worth one mark, just try to get it done as fast as possible, because if you write a long response for these kind of questions, you're just wasting time. But yeah, I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.